Hello my dear boys and girls. Welcome to your biology class. Last class we learned the parts of male reproductive system and also we learned about the formation of male gamete that is the sperms. I hope all of you have read your textbook page number 98 and 99. If you have not read the textbook kindly read it now and after that only kindly kindly continue the watching of the video. And teacher has given you a small homework last day isn't it? So now let's discuss the homework that is in page number 98, multiple choice question, tick the correct options. So the first question is, the fusion of male gamete with the female gamete lead to the formation of dash. So we have learned the fusion of male and female gametes is called, yes, fertilization and it leads to the fertilization leads to the formation of Let's see the options. First option is zygote, B, egg, C, bud and D, fetus. So the fusion of male and male gamete with the female gamete leads to the formation of, yes, option A, zygote. So let's mark here, option A, zygote. Now the second question, which of the following does not reproduce by sexual reproduction? Which of the following does not reproduce with the uh, by the sexual reproduction? The options are fish, amoeba, cow and horse. So which among this is not reproducing sexually? Yes, option B, amoeba. Isn't it? So let's mark here amoeba. So I hope all of you got the correct answer. Now let's start today's class. In today's class we are going to learn about female reproductive system. Last class we learned the male reproductive system in detail. Today we will learn the female reproductive system, the parts and the formation of gametes in female reproductive system. So dear children, in page number 99 of your textbook, female reproductive system is given. Teacher have just represented the diagram on the board. So let's learn which are the parts of female reproductive system. The first part is ovary. Ovary is the first part of female reproductive system. Now the second part is fallopian tube. Ovary, fallopian tube, uterus, third part is uterus and the fourth part is vagina. Now let's learn about these parts in detail. So the first part ovary. In human females ovary is situated below the kidney in the abdominal region. We know where the kidney is. We know the kidneys are placed in the abdominal region. So the ovary is kept in human female. Ovary is kept below the kidney at the abdominal region. Now as you can see there is a pair or two ovaries for a female. We have learned that a human male has two testes. Likewise, a human female has a pair or two ovaries. Now, what is the function of the ovaries? Yes, the function of the ovaries is to produce female gametes. What is the female gamete in humans called? Yes, ovum, isn't it? So, the function of the so the function of this ovary is to produce the ovum or the female gamete. Now do you remember the function of testis? What is the function of testis? Yes, the function of testis is to produce sperms as a male gamete that is sperm as well as a, as well as a hormone called testosterone. Isn't this? So here the function of ovum. So here the function of ovary is to produce the ovums that is a female gamete. And along with that it also secrete female hormones so like testosterone in males females also produce hormone and those hormones are progesterone and estrogen progesterone and estrogen so near ovary i'm writing estrogen the production of estrogen and strong
So the function of the ovary is to produce the ovum that is the female gamete as well as the hormones female hormones that is estrogen and progesterone which is the male hormones produced by the testis yes testosterone likewise the ovaries produce progesterone and estrogen. Now when is this ovum released from the ovary the ovum is released at the puberty age age of the females. A single ovum is released every month in a mature female. A mature female will release a single ovum from the ovary every month. And we learned there are two ovaries. So a single ovum is released from either of these ovaries every month. So both these ovaries become functional alternatively each month. So when we compare with the male gamete that is a sperm, we know we understand a million number of sperms are released at a time whereas in females there is only a single ovum released every month and also the size of this ovum is much larger than the size of the sperm the size of the sperm we learned it is too minute and we also learned the structure of the sperm which are the structure of the sperms yes the it has head middle piece and tail isn't it whereas the ovum is a large spherical in structure and a single ovum is released by either of this ovaries in a month so that's all about the first part that is the ovary so what is the function of the ovary Yes, the function of the ovary is to release the ovum. A single ovum is released every, one, every month. And also its function is to release the female hormones. Which are the female hormones, dear children? Yes, progesterone and estrogen. So that is the function of the ovary. Now let's learn about the second part that is fallopian tube. Fallopian tube. In males, we learned the sperm duct or vasa difference, isn't it? So likewise, Females are also having a tube and it is called fallopian tube. Now where is this fallopian tube situated? Let's see. One end of the fallopian tube is joined to the or it is nearer to the ovary whereas another end is joined to the uterus region. Another end is joined to the uterus region. So it is a duct. It is a muscular duct. It is also called oviduct. Fallopian tube is also called oviduct. It joins to the ovary as well as the, it joins the ovary. One end of the oviduct joins to the ovary whereas the other end is joining to the uterus. Now what is the function of this fellow tube? We learned that each month an ovum is released by the ovary. So the function of the fellow tube, fallopian tube is to carry this ovum that is a female gamete to the uterus region. The function of the uh, fallopian tube is to carry the ovum to the uterus region. And one more function is there for the uh, fallopian tube that is the fertilization. What is fertilization dear children? Yes, the process of fusion of male and female gamete is called fertilization, isn't it? So, so the fertilization is also happening at the fallopian tube region. So we learned that this tube-like region is called fallopian tube and the function of fallopian tube, there are two functions that is the first function is it carries the ovum released by the ovary to the uh, uterus region and also second function is it is the site for the fertilization. We understood, we know what is fertilization, that is the fusion of male and female gametes. So, if the fusion happens, if the fertilization happens, that will be happening at the fallopian tube. That will be uh, happening inside the fallopian tube. So, these are the two functions of the fallopian tube. Now, let's learn the third part, that is uterus. Uterus is also called womb. So you may be heard of the word womb, mother's womb. That means uterus. Womb is the other name for the uterus. Now, what are the features of the uterus? You can, uh, teacher have marked this region as the uterus. So this is a bag-like region, isn't it? So this bag-like region is called the uterus. So what is the function of the uterus? The function of the uterus is... If the fertilization happens and zygote is formed, the, fo the function of the uterus is to carry the zygote and help in the growth and development of the 
uh, zygote. So, this bag-like region, uterus, is the site for the development of the zygote. So, we know when fertilization happens, the zygote will be formed. Zygote is the first cell of the new hu human being, isn't it? Zygote is the first cell of every organism in human. Zygote is the first cell of the human. So, this zygote developed into develop into a new child or a new infant. Infant means child, isn't it? So the so child is getting developed. So the child is getting developed in this bag-like region called uterus. Fourth part is vagina. So now what is vagina? Vagina is the opening of the female reproductive system. Vagina is the external opening of the female reproductive system. So, the vagina is the female uh, opening of the female, female reproductive system and it consists of many muscles. Vagina consists of many muscles. So, dear children, what is the male reproductive system opening called? Yes, it is called the penis and we know that penis is together. And we know and we learned that penis is combined with the urinary system, isn't it? But whereas females have separate opening for urination as well as vaginal opening. Females are having separate opening for the reproductive system that is vaginal opening. So that's all about the female reproductive part that is they are also having four parts. First part is ovary. The function of ovary is to produce the ovum. And single ovum is released alternatively by the both ovaries. And the ovary and the ovum is large when compared to sperm. The other function of the ovary is to secrete the female hormones that is estrogen and progesterone. Now, the second part of uh, female reproductive system is uh, fallopian tubule. The function of the fem uh, the function of the fallopian tube is to connect between. It is a connection between the ovary and the uterus, and it also acts as a site for fertilization. So, if the fertilization happens between the male gamete, that is a sperm, and the female gamete, that is uh, the ovum, that fertilization will be happening at the fallopian tube. Now. Now the third female reproductive part is the uterus. It is also called the womb. It is the place where the zygote develop into a new baby. It is a sac like region and it is where the baby is getting developed. The zygote uh, divide multiplically. The uh, zygote undergo, undergo rapid division in order to form a baby. So that baby is carried inside this uterus. Now, the fourth part is the vagina. So, vagina is the external opening for the female reproductive system. Female reproductive system is also having few accessory glands like mammary glands for the nourishment of the babies or the infants. So, that is all about the female reproductive system. Let's summarize what we have learned in today's class using the DJ video. Female reproductive system. The female reproductive system consists of a pair of ovaries, ovary ducts, fallopian tubes, uterus, and vagina. Ovaries are the one has two ovaries present in the abdominal cavity, just below the kidneys. The function of ovaries is to make the female mammals called ova or eggs, and also to secrete the female sex hormones called oestrogen, also spelled as estrogen and progesterone. At puberty, the ovaries produce eggs or ova required for fertilization. In human beings, a single mature egg is released into the oviduct alternatively by one of the ovaries every month. Like a sperm, an egg is also a single cell but is much bigger than sperms. Fallopian tubes, oviducts. Fallopian tube, oviduct is a thin and coiled muscular tube with a funnel-shaped opening near the ovaries. It joins uterus to the ovary. The ovum or egg shell, the ovum or egg cell released by an ovary goes into the fallopian tube through its funnel-shaped opening. The fertilization of egg or ovum takes place in the fallopian tube, uterus ring. The two fallopian tubes connect to a bag-like organ called uterus womb. The growth and development of a fertilized egg zygote into a baby takes place in the uterus. The uterus has muscular tissues that expand during pregnancy to hold the growing fetus and contract after the birth of baby, vagina. 
The uterus opens into a wide muscular tube called vagina, which opens to the outside of the body. In females, vaginal opening and urinary openings are separate. Unlike males, the female reproductive system also has mammary glands for nourishment of infants. Dear children, I hope all of you understood well about the female reproductive system. Before concluding, the class teacher would like to give you a small homework that is in page number 100, multiple choice question. There are two multiple choice questions given in page number 100. Kindly do that has homework. So dear children, kindly go through the page number 99 and 100. Kindly read that part. Please read the textbook at least twice. Then only you will understand well about the female and the male reproductive parts. See you in next class. Thank you.